demographics of the United States over the past five decades. Comma, show the percentages and the declinations. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, stop listening. It is not about, and I want you to understand this, it is not about Hispanics coming over the border. Okay? It has nothing to do with Hispanics coming over the border. Let's do this so that you guys can see the real reason. And then we will par Harvey this mother. Then you will have the rest of the story. The United States has an official estimated resident population of 3.4, uh, three, excuse me, 134,914,000. That's a lie. I don't know where they're getting that number from. We're closer to 400 million than we could ever be. But we won't talk about that right now. And and hold on now. And they're counting Puerto Rico, Guam, Virgin Islands, and all of them. Yeah, uh-huh. Liars. Now, I want y'all to pay attention. The reason why we are doing this is because there is this cry. And people are saying, oh, they're coming across the border. They're going to take our jobs. And then they're going to rob and steal and kill us because the only people coming across the border is your murderers, your rapists. And all. <laughs> what the? I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hispanic and Latino population increased by 50 million, 500,000 and 2010 to 62 million 100,000 in 2020, a 23% increase. Mm -hmm. Then we have the Asian population. Then they'll talk about the blacks and the whites and the purples and the browns and the greens and the orange and the, you know what I'm saying? Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's because a particular former ruling class, the powers that be, the main race of the powers that be, the minority, because they are a minority and nobody's been paying attention to that. Everybody keeps thinking that people of color are a minority. No, they're not. The pay attention, minority is the ruling class. Okay? And they don't want to be a continual minority. That document we showed you from Mississippi, Mississippi, that document talked about them in fear of this very thing that's happening now. That's what they're afraid of. That's why they keep talking about millions are coming across the border. <laughs> so if millions are coming across the border, why is this number still stagnant? We've been at, pay attention, 300 million since the 1990s. Impossible. Impossible. What? They're going to say we were at 200 million in the 1990s, and that's a lie. We were at 300 million because I remember the numbers. I was there. And this ain't no Mandela effect. So how come the population has not grown in the United States? See, even this shows that it's not even 100 million. Between 1990, 30 years, not even 100 million. Not even close to 100 million. From 1999 until now. That doesn't make any sense. See, this is 30 million here. Then from here to here, that's not even 30 million. Then from here to here, definitely not 30 million. With all the baby devil being born in the 80s, that's because they started abortions. Shh. Pay attention. And look who gets aborted quicker. And look at who's the skin color that's on the main lines suggesting that abortion rights. Blah, blah. Yeah, abortion. Uh. Pay attention to what's going on, ladies and gentlemen. That's why there's a cry for the border. Notice this. Ain't nothing happening at the border. Nobody, nobody's crying about the border now, but they were a couple of months ago. Doing interviews at the border, talking about, look at all the people coming across the river. The National Guard is there. Look at that. The, the Border Patrol is there. Where are they now? How come nobody's talking about it now? Don't get me wrong. I understand. Peep game, everyone. Peep 
game. They're telling us exactly what they're doing. I didn't make this up. They're the ones making up these numbers. 20 million people a day, 100 million people coming over the border every day. Because they got to make you afraid. Oh, look at all these people coming across the border. Did you not know that everybody who's a part of the United Nations, the borders are open? To everyone who's a part of the United Nations, the borders are open? Shh. The U.S. household growth in the last decade is the lowest ever. Of course it is, because they are purposely killing people. Don't take my word for it. Go look at the statistics. Don't follow the statistics as the population decrease. Follow the statistics of the amount of deaths in the past 50 years in the United States. And notice how that has arisen and risen and risen and risen. Not my fault. The death rate has outpaced the birth rate. Same thing in China. Same thing in China. Okay, that's why China is upset that India is passing them up as far as members of the population. Oops. But that's what you get. Hey, gotta go. We gotta do a video on finances in a minute. So we'll speak to y'all in a minute. Would I lie to you?